Hello and welcome to episode 12 of How to Play Star Wars Galaxies. We are uh, today we're going to look into uh, stat mods and how they work in this game. We're not going to go into too much detail on engineering or anything like that, but um, we're going to just talk about them, explain what they are, and kind of tell you what what they do for each for each stat. And I've got a little chart that I'm going to show you in a minute, and that explains it in more detail and tells you what kind of benefits you get from what you're stacking. Now, to give you an example, what stat mods are. Uh, in, in your inventory, you may get an item, a weapon, clothing, or uh, armor. I'm going to look at a piece of armor for right now. This is a little uh, belt. And um, this belt has three mods on it. It has a constitution, a luck, and a precision mod. Uh, different pieces may have different uh, types of mods. You can make your own clothing that has uh, your own maximum stat mods. Uh, the most you can have on any single mod is 35 on something that you make yourself. But if you get something that's looted, or uh, are made, they can uh, sometimes they can have uh, higher mods or things like that. Um, if you want to look at your mods, what type of mods you have currently, and what your stats are, if you go into your character sheet, you can uh, see here on the status. You can see total the total amount you have. I got pretty high, but remember, keep in mind I'm a level 90 and I've got all my stuff sort of uh, almost maxed out. I haven't I've been revamping it. If you go into uh, your skill mods, you can see a list of all the attributes here, and you can also see all of your uh, combat stats. Now, all of these mods directly affect your combat stats. Um, if you take something off or add something, you'll, you'll notice a little difference, and uh, I'll, see, I'll see if I can do that here. I'm going to unequip this thing that has uh, some different mods on it. And you may see in a minute... It takes a second or two. You'll notice, there it goes, some of these numbers went down just a little bit. Um, so it does help you to have, have your mods. Now, if you want to stack these, you want to always remember, um, now any player, your mods can be on all of all nine of your armor pieces, or seven, depending on what kind of armor set you're, you're putting on. Um, but if you're trying to stack, uh, stack stat mods, then you want to do a nine piece. Uh, but the nine pieces plus your belt your shirt, your bandolier or backpack, and, it's, and if you're not using a belt, you can also use a, a, a personal energy shield, and also all of your jewelry. There's a necklace, uh, two wristbands left and right, and there's also a band and a ring you can wear. Um, all of these items can, can, can be added up and uh, accumulate to, uh, to uh, items to in increase your stats, and that's one of the reasons I have so many on me right now, is all my items are uh, have stats on it. But we're gonna um, we're gonna look through these now. There's agility, constitution, luck, precision, stamina, and strength. Um, constitution and stamina really only affect your health and your action. Um, we can look at it here on your status. Um, your constitution will give you a bigger boost to health and a smaller boost to action, and your stamina is the reverse of that: bigger to action, less of health. Um, for people that want to stack. Uh, a massive amount of a health bar. They, they they feel they need a lot of health to uh, you know maybe last in combat or something. Um, and depending on your situation, that may be what you want to do. They'll really stack those two mods on everything, and they can they can significantly raise their health bar. Now I'm going to put on the screen here a a chart that you can find if you go onto uh, Google or any other kind of search uh, address um, engine. You can look for a, a chart called SWG stat mod chart and you should you should see on the screen here I can't show it I can't see it in the game but I'm looking at a printout for myself the chart will show all of this all of the little um, the uh, the amounts that it will go up per 100 uh, points of that mod that you are stacking so if you look on the agility if you get a hundred points of it stacked it will actually add a percent for dodge half a percent for parry and, and a percent for evasion um, I'm not going to go, I guess I might go over a little bit of, of some of these types of mod, uh, what, what, what it goes up, but, so, and then, and that's directly in here, so as you increase those, you can see in here, like for dodge, you can find combat defense dodge, and you can see how much percentage of dodge you have available, and keep in mind, if these numbers are low, that's not a bad thing, you know, just because they're not like 70%, doesn't mean that's bad, they're, that's still decent. 
just doesn't mean that I don't I don't have that stacked up real, really high. Blocks is pretty good general. Dodge is pretty much general. Um, it blo it dodges uh, all the attack. Evasions for uh, um, area attacks. Parry is specifically for um, for Jedi. It's uh, because you can use your lightsaber to to block um, uh, range and melee attacks. Um, and you got you know critical hit reduction. Um, another parry mod that's just related to the parry. Um, you got your two hit bonus. That's just pretty much what, what allows you to um, to the bonus that prevents you from other players from missing as much. It's just kind of odd. There's another block that's related to the block, and there's a strike through, which is to, uh, determines how easy you can break through an opponent's armor. And then there's and see here also I have a thing called parry rating five is because I have a mod for parry rating, but it does relate to this mod. So just because you see an extra mod here doesn't mean it's counting twice. It's just saying that you have an extra stat that you've added on that's not a normal uh, natural stat for your uh, your profession. Now each now on this chart though. It will go up significantly as you get up to like uh, if you start getting your points up to like 900, 1,000, um, you'll start noticing a big increase in uh, whatever you're stacking. Um, not just because you have a lot of points, but you'll start noticing it'll start making a big difference. And like um, for Jedi, if they have a lot of strength, they can hit really hard. If you have a lot of Constitution stamina, you're going to have super high uh, health and and and, and uh, action. Um, and on the bottom there, it tells you it tells you per point you spend. Um, what sort of increase you get for every little um, every little point you you put in? So you know if you get, if you just put in one point of constitution, you get eight points of health. Now, that didn't seem like much, but if you put a thousand points of constitution, you know. So um, that's pretty much the stat mod. But um, and I would advise you know if you have the money, go ahead and buy them uh, stat mods for uh, for you know pieces of clothing. Again, always use your bazaar terminal to uh, to do an extensive search. Stacking them for for combat, and you're trying to pick out your uh, your set, uh, your template, say um, for combat. It's going to be slightly varied for each and different situation you're at. Um, you know, you may have a different setup for being a Jedi facing certain PVPers like bounty hunters or something, but it may totally change if you're fighting spies. So all these, you know, you wanted to keep in mind all of the. Uh, the variations and it is very different for PVE versus PVP um, and different PVE bosses are going to be very different so um, hope that helps you out and uh, until next time I'll see you later